Today is Thursday, the 6th of June, and it was another, you know, productive day. We've almost accounted for an entire week of the new job, and it continues to go well. Uh, continuing to meet people, continuing to get used to the tools and technologies that I'll be using, and all of it is going, you know, about as I expected, which is great. So, very thankful for that, and, you know, candidly also thankful that it's done for today, because I am tired, and it's busy. I, for I forgot, I mean, I've, I've only been in between opportunities there for a few weeks, but I, I just forget how draining it is to sit in front of a computer for 12 hours all day. But, uh, but thanks, th thanks for blue light glasses. That's what, that's what helps. Uh, tomorrow is actually going to be an interesting thing. And I just scheduled the, uh, the stream for it, but the stream time is changing. If you are a member or a Patreon supporter on the other channel, the Let's Play channel, you would know that, uh, We've had this shift to the stream schedule. Ordinarily, it had been going on Fridays at 5.30. Now it's going to be going on Fridays at 6.30. Uh, and maybe later. We'll see. Uh, tentatively, tomorrow's stream is scheduled for uh, for 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And we'll we'll have to see how that actually works out schedule-wise. It's very important to me to do this uh, because this week and then next Friday will be the two streams that I have an opportunity to do at all. The following week, I will be out of town. So hard to stream when you're out of town. Thankfully, however, next week, uh, I, I am out of town all next week, but I come back Friday at like 5 p.m. Eastern. So I might, I might stream a little later just due to that, but we'll have to, you know, we'll cross that bridge and come to it. Either which way, well, I was, I was talking with a friend of mine about this today, but I am, <laughs> I am busy because you have the, the trip next week, right? And then you have the wedding trip later in the month, and then there's the American holiday, and then Serena and I are moving, and there's just a lot going on right now. Uh, thankfully, I have set things up so far. I am recorded pretty much through June. Uh, not completely set up. They're all like uploaded into YouTube, which is great, but they don't have like the metadata or thumbnails or stuff like that. So continue to work on that. I've been getting those up and scheduled for the members, at least to view early uh, at like three-ish per day, which should work out pretty well. And, uh, and I guess, I guess we'll see. Uh, <laughs> funnily enough, I might finish Super Mario Sunshine before we even leave, like just at the pace that I'm recording it. Maybe not edited and uploaded and thumbnailed and everything like that, but I might be like done with the game. And I am actually like, I'm not 100%ing it, but almost 100%ing it. Uh, you'll, you'll see what I mean when you when you watch the series, but I'm having a lot of fun with it, which is good. It's a, a nostalgic game for sure, and a game that I have wanted to let's play on the channel since I started the channel. There's, there's a grouping of a few games, and that's one of them. Another one would be Ocarina of Time, and these are games that are just like so near and dear to my heart, so very important to me that I almost was afraid to let's play them because I don't want to like do it a disservice, if that makes sense. Like I want to I want to have the uh, the technology, number one, right? Like the, the proper equipment to create a high quality uh, Let's Play. But then I also wanted to make sure that I felt like I could do it, like just from, from a commentary standpoint, things like that. And Sunshine's going well. Obviously I have no data for it to tell how well people like it. Um, <laughs> and I do expect it to kind of suffer a little bit initially because something interesting that I've noticed, uh, you know, doing the YouTube thing now for three years is that People can really, really, really love a series and and watch every single episode and be highly engaged and you can like see the stats on the analytics behind it, like they're, they're having a great time. And then the next series, they leave. They don't even want anything to do with it. And that's fine. Like I'm not trying to complain or anything. It's just it's just crazy and interesting to me that, you know, I can I can play all these great games, but they don't they don't appeal to everyone. You know what I'm saying? Like what's the old adage, an adage? Whatever, uh, you could be the juiciest peach in the world, but then there's someone out there that just doesn't like peaches. You know, so people that are watching Hollow Knight may not like Super Mario Sunshine. So when Hollow Knight wraps up, it just Hollow Knight is done incredibly well. They may not like Super Mario Sunshine, but there is a new audience that's actually been growing in the channel, and I haven't really talked about this. I should have talked about this in the uh, the Patreon video when we talked about analytics, but uh, Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door was a let's play I did shoot at this point uh like 15 months ago and it was a great let's play I, I think i did that one very well i had a lot of fun but ever since the remake came out like three weeks ago uh 
all of that has been blowing up. Like it's gotten thousands of views <laughs> across the, the series and the shorts and everything like that and a ton of new subscribers. And it's almost like its own separate like viewership, like there's regulars watching that stuff that aren't watching Hollow Knight. But maybe they'll end up watching Sunshine. I don't know. Either which way, I guess the point of it all is to just do what I find most enjoyable. I mean, it's a Let's Play channel. It's not like I'm creating content like documentaries or something specifically trying to cater to my audience. And I mean, don't get me wrong, like in some regard, I am trying to cater to my audience. I definitely want you guys to have as good of a time as possible, but <laughs> I'm only going to play games I want to play because that's how I'm going to create the best thing I can create, right? Like if you force someone to play a game they hate, maybe some people are into watching that. Maybe some people are into watching someone just hate their life and play a game that, that they do not like. But I personally only enjoy watching people have a good time. I personally only enjoy having a good time. And I guess that's the environment I'm trying to cultivate. <laughs> Well, that was just a long-winded sort of spiel. I don't even know what the overall point was, but thanks for watching. I do appreciate it, and I hope that you enjoyed yourself, and I hope that you, you know, did something you enjoyed today. And I hope I see you again tomorrow.